Hello, Monday, 31st of July, 2023. Third time making the video. I know, it appear, I don't know what's going on. Is it going on with you? The energy feels sort of chaotic. Um, I'm normally, I, know, I am scatty, but I'm not this scatty. Scattered instead of scatty. Anywho, the postie is doing his rounds at the moment, so we might get interrupted. Somebody is drilling, my lord, come by our over there. Um, that I think is going to ramp up at some point, but it hasn't yet. Yeah, we have no cats in the room at the moment and the hotel is empty, awaiting more guests. There's some in the hotel down there though. And can I say they have not been spitting, which is, this is new. Normally when it's work guys, with the high vis and all that, there's an, a propensity of morning spitting. I know, it really is gross. Apologies if you're eating your breakfast. But this lot, not too bad, you know? So I'm glad about that. Small mercies. Is that what I'm gonna have for my gratitude journal or whatever people call it, isn't it? I am very grateful that the workmen are not gobbing in my street. Actually, yes. You know, you could start there. I'm going to start there. And the litter pick man came as well. You know, the one who has like a kind of a, a grabber and then they pick all the stuff because all the, all the seagulls had eaten all the bins and it was all over the street. And I was just kind of wading through it every time I came home thinking, be positive, be positive. And yeah, man came with grabber. Almost went out there and said, I, I really appreciate you man with grabber, but I thought, Anything could happen if I do that. So no, didn't do that, but I felt it. I know, I felt it. He doesn't know the difference that he made. Let me know in the comments section if you've had any small wins. And they can be that small. I've got an itchy nose and allergies. I don't know if that's a win or a loss. Anywho, Monday. Here we are again. This keeps happening. I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot for many reasons. Oof. Nice. And we will be rewarded. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm liking this. Should I have said that? Oh dear. And this is just the way it's going to have to be for a little while. We're going to have to protect the modesty of that devil card that we pulled. Okay, let's show you the cards. God, they really are off centre, aren't they? Let's put these over here. Spice Girls song stuck in my head today. <coughs> I know, what can I say? Um, so the devil must remain like that, but that actually makes him more intriguing, doesn't it? Like with his head, his glittery old bonce popping up on top of there. Um, right, so overall energy, we've got nine of pentacles and the devil. And we've got four mages out of six cards. That's not bad. So, do I declare spiritual big jobs? I think I maybe do, actually. And it is only Monday. I know. There is some real powerful astrology coming up for us in August. Um, I'll go through it at the appropriate time. I'll do readings, etc. We are, of course, in Venus retrograde at the moment. We're in Chiron retrograde. We're going to be going into the shadow period of Mercury retrograde as the week goes on. Sure um, Mercury's going to be retrograde in Virgo, isn't it? That's interesting, isn't it? Because Mercury's the ruler of Virgo. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to make it a smoother ride or a more jolty ride. If you're an astrologer, weigh in. Or even if you're not. Okay, so we have the devil and we have the nine of pentacles. Venus in, Venus in Virgo, yeah. Venus in Virgo, the nine of pentacles. It's sometimes known as the single woman card or something. I kind of think of it as 
happy independent person card, okay? It often means that you are putting your needs above someone else's. Now, the devil card for me today, we have got the moon in Capricorn all day. So devil, of course, is Capricorn. So I don't mind this too much. It may mean that you need to employ a certain kind of ruthlessness, which if you're an empath, probably just makes you like back up to speed with where everybody else is. So I wouldn't even say that it was even that ruthless. Um, temperance as well. Temperance is balancing the energies of hot and cold, of yes and no, of bored and excited, whatever these kind of polar opposites, but also just contrasting. There's quite a lot of contrast to contend with. Is maybe conversations, and I've thought this and it has come up um, in the monthly readings, nearly every single sign got that there would be some conversation with somebody that might be tricky coming up in August. And I believe that to be the case. So this Knight of Swords here very much could be what I love to call a missive, a communication, an email, a text, a Snapchat, God knows what. That's why I call it a missive, because then I don't have to, you know, get into all the rest of what we might call it and all the different media that's around. Knight of Swords is something coming in, information coming in. I think it's quite you're going to feel quite reactive about this information and it may be important if you can to give it a little while which we never feel like doing. There is something in the offer, the message, whatever you want to call it, that turns out to be some kind of opportunity for you. You may need to, in your perception, step over others to get it a little bit. I know. Am I telling you to be head of the queue when they're do doling out the cake? I am. I know, especially if that's not you and that's not your energy. Try it on. Yes. Then we have um, Leo energy. We are in Leo season. Woof. And I think the Leos won't mind me saying that Leos aren't bad, actually, at being able to say what they want and being able to speak up and be quite, you know, extrovert about it if they need to be. This is good. We need this. We're in this season. We're in this season for a reason. Actually heading towards, oh, I don't know what that is. What's that? I'm, I'm heading towards a lasso and a wrap at the same time. I'm always heading towards a lasso. Okay. That's a t-shirt, isn't it? That is a t-shirt. White butterfly alert as well. Recently, while I've been doing the readings, a lovely white butterfly, probably not the same one, has been twisting and turning its way across the window, which is really nice. So we then have here the fall, which I don't mind telling you is giving me gorgeous vibes. Really, really gorgeous vibes. It's lovely energy. It's a feeling of revving and starting and being at zero and a kind of starting over energy. I feel like we've been dredging a lot of judgments and six of cups and things like that and karma. And that's not to say the whole lot has dissolved instantly, but I do feel there's an opportunity here. Maybe this is like leaning towards or a nod towards mid-September when some of the planets um, go direct, not all of them. And we get more into the mode of, I can do this, I can do that, I can create. Very, very interesting energy. I'm a fan. Let's have, an, let's have an angel's answer card, actually. We haven't done those for a while. I'll go back to face on this. You th oh, gosh. You think of a question. I think I might have to make my own deck of angel answers cards. You know, like, cool your jets, <laughs> jog on, that kind of thing. You're first in the queue for cake. Yes. Hmm. If only I knew how to make cards, I don't. I have no real artistic ability either. None. I can, like I said before, I can do stickmen. It's really not my talent. Great when I come from a really artistic family. Right, okay. Have you got your question ready? You can freeze frame it if you want. I'm gonna do a couple. The answer is, 
there's something better. That really pipes with the reading, doesn't it? I don't know what pipes mean, but random things coming out of my mouth recently. Um, it chimes with the reading, maybe, is better. This card here, Nine of Pentacles, is loving yourself, is putting yourself first. And that Capricorn quality there, I like it. It's not ruthless, it's sensible. And Capricorn ruled by Saturn, and Saturn is in retrograde at the moment. We're reviewing our boundaries, we're reviewing our policies. Um, think of it as the health and safety monitor of your own persona. Part two, or your second question, are you ready? Nice, no need to worry. That doesn't mean that bad things won't happen. I know, let me just uh, dump all over that, shall I? No need to worry. What it does mean though is it's all right to push yourself to the front of the queue. A few bad things might happen as a result of you doing that, but there's plenty more good. I'm pointing to a card you can't see now, temperance, good and bad. Okay, final, final question or part three. Are you ready? Trust. Yeah. Trust just following your nose here. It's a bit like, you know, a dog sniffing out a biscuit. It's that simple. You don't have to make it complicated. You don't have to take account of everybody else's feelings all the time. Sometimes you're just the dog going for the, the doggy biscuit and that's all right. I know, it's a deeply philosophical message for you at the end. Um, hit the like button if you've enjoyed it, please. And do leave a comment and I will see you soon. Namaste.